Well, it's a bloody hot day for a Brit. About 25 degrees, I think. I'm out in the shed. I've got my air conditioning running. And, as you might guess, I'm going to work on reassembling the jigsaw. Sorry for any wind noise, but, you know, necessary. Uh, yeah, I need to drag all that out and spread it across here. <sighs> At least I've got some nice, cool two-shark petrol to drink. And by two-shark petrol, that's, you know, summer fruits, juice, and fizzy water. Don't drink petrol. It's not good for you. Alright, so I got most of the bits out of the uh, tub. Well, all of the bits, actually. Uh, I did uh, do a lot of JB welding on this, so I'm hoping that'll hold. I did a little bit in there as well. I mean, yeah, just a tiny bit. And I've also tapped in the, I've also tapped in the new bearing, so that's all ready to go. Uh, the only thing after that's left to do is, uh, yeah. I thought I'd check to make sure everything was in frame because I've been working on that bit which was actually just out of frame. I went to adjust the camera upwards a bit. Um, yeah, the cheap Chinese plastic thing snapped off. That little brass ferrule there is what it's supposed to be attached to. So, hmm. Oh well, I guess there's no time lapse for this video. Okay. So, see how the time lapse isn't going to be working, I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way. Right, got most of the bar together. It was quite a bit of a fiddle because I didn't realise you had to slot that part in right into there so you can bolt it on. Um, I need to put in these three to go onto the guide bar. Why is that making a lot of noise right now? Um, yeah, what else? Yeah, I think it's just a case of put all this together because I've Got on the crankcase all bolted together and the this blue stuff on. So yeah. I was hoping to do a time lapse, but it's just like, eh. Stupid Chinese crap didn't work. But on the plus side, at least I can use that uh, mount as somewhere to put this camcorder, so I can have a Big Clive style top down view. So, anyway, I'm gonna get back to it and then do a bit, another bit more of the. Do another bit. The, oh God, I can't get this bit right. I'll do another little bit of video after I've put some more bits and pieces together. Alright, all them little bolts are in. I've also got the handle on, which is kind of odd. I would have thought you put on last, but whatever. Also, I have to take all the screws out of the bottom because apparently this plastic piece of poo goes on before you put the screws in. Very helpful there, I hope. Uh, yeah, so I also need to attach the handle on here, which is in many bits and pieces somewhere around here. And get the plastics back on the engine, bolt the engine back on, and then it's back together again. Minus the um, carburetor, which I've not yet ordered, so that'll be part three when I get around to it. So, anyway. Yeah, get the handle assembled, get that attached on there, and go from there. Well, I got a little ahead of myself when it came to um, attaching the handle, because it seems you had to feed the power and throttle cables through there, through the little twisty lead, twisty bit. And I only realised that after I'd got all the spree bits done in the handle. Yeah. So I've got to start doing the handle again and get all the spring bits back together and put, all this, put it all together. <sighs> I don't have a re reassembly manual, literally, I just have that. It's not entirely helpful. But I'm getting there, slowly but surely. I'm getting there. Well, handle's all back together, engine's fully attached, uh, blades are all in place. Only things missing are that bit and the cover for the carburetor. Now, the reason why that's not on is I can't find the bloody screws for it. This is annoying because I used to have the screws, and the only screws that were left over from the rebuild are those two nuts and that wood screw. And I don't think that wood screw is part of it. And I don't think they're part of it either. So I'm going to have to find some alternatives to screw into these plastic bits, so that shouldn't be too hard, I mean, 
some cheap wood screws uh, should do the job. I've got plenty of them. So, um, yeah. That's part two of the Ryobi Jigsaw Puzzle Rebuild. Uh, I think for now I'm just going to end the video here because I'm honestly roasting. It's bloody hot in here. I could probably sell tickets and use it as a sauna. So, anyway. But wait, there's more! It does run. If you like the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you want to leave a comment, they go down below. If you want to subscribe, the little round thing will be over here. And until next time, bye!